local woman that is helping to raise funds for students who walk to school in Scranton. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead has more on the transportation issues and the growing need. Every day, Scranton High School senior Brian Sanchez walks 30 minutes to school, no matter the weather. Sometimes it feels tiring to walk to school, but I have to walk to school because I have responsibility. In the Scranton School District, transportation is not provided for high school students. In years past, corporations have donated money to pay for the Colts bus passes for students. That didn't happen this year, so Ellen Keeler Moore stepped in. Family members of mine were just going to make a donation, and we just thought if we started uh, a GoFundMe, maybe we could just increase the amount and draw some attention. Her goal was to support the students and families who need it most. The students that are walking the furthest to Scranton High School are those that have the greatest needs. They're children who are living in, in public housing projects, who might not have the appropriate clothing, who aren't dressed warmly enough in the winter months. When Ellen made the GoFundMe, she was shocked to see how far it took off. So far, we're just over $7,000. As I understand it, $5,800 buys 200 bus passes, and that will get the school through two months, approximately. For students like Brian, this will make all the difference. It would be great, so I don't have to waste my energy walking to school. In Scranton, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. And the school district divides the donations between Scranton and West Scranton High Schools, allowing students to get discounted bus tickets from Colts.